destroy shit. Pinpoint asteroids in orbit, then hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it. Towards it, towards it, towards it. What's up, Earthlings? About a year ago, our friend BM Furball, who's famous for reconfirming that mass attracts mass with his cavernous experiment in a vacuum, which he performed in his apartment in South Korea, took a trip to Honolulu, Hawaii with his family and did an observation from Waikiki to Barber's Point Oil Refinery. This past weekend, I went to roughly the same location with my family. I pointed my camera in roughly the same direction, and this is what I saw. The container ship that crosses in front of my view looks to be right at the horizon. Ever since I started these observations, I've heard every excuse in the book as to why the buildings and everything else in front of the buildings is obstructed. This observation is pretty much exactly what BM Furball saw during his observation. And just to confirm what BM Furball already confirmed, let's let him explain what we don't see in our observations. Also, the link to BM Furball's channel will be in the description. After making the observation, I poked around on Google Earth and identified that particular building as being part of the Barber's Point Oil Refinery and Coast Guard Air Station. The first thing that I'd like to point out is regarding Nathan Oakley and Quantum Racer's silly new claim that Google Earth shows all oceans are flat and level, and therefore claiming it is their official model for the real world. Then I'd like for them to explain this. While their ridiculous use of Google Earth to show a flat and level ocean surface over deep waters, in areas close to the shore, you actually get to see the ocean depth. Sorry Nathan, that kind of kills your belief that Google Earth shows all water is flat and level. But back to that building. Clearly we have the right building, so let's look at the dimensions of it and the distance it is from me. That building is 17.4 miles away, and according to the curve calculator, with no refraction and an observer height of 8 feet, 129.5 feet of this building should be hidden by curve. What does Google Earth have to say about this building though? It's 162 feet tall, and the lower rooftop is slanted between 132 and 134 feet. With those numbers, this observation is almost exactly as expected. You'd almost think that somebody used real science because the curve calculator literally predicted this observation to the foot. The flat earth explanation for this is that objects getting farther away will disappear from the bottom up because of, well, reasons. But the bottom up as it gets farther away doesn't explain this. These tankers are closer to me and 80 feet tall, yet they're not in my image. These tanks are even closer and they're 70 feet tall and directly between the camera and that building, yet they are not in my image. None of the trees or buildings are visible, yet they are closer to me. Nothing from this flight line is visible, yet it is all closer to me than that building.
and you will also notice a distinct lack of beach line or trees anywhere in this image. My question is how does the Flat Earth explain this? Why am I not able to observe a 70 foot oil tank that is literally in direct line of sight between my camera and that building that I can see? Now according to the curve calculator, that tanker is behind 107 feet of curve, well hidden from view. And even closer, the Coast Guard building is 50 feet tall. And according to the calculator, it's behind 88 feet of curve. Unless someone can find an inferior mirage in this image, or wants to claim that there was a 140 foot swell that day, I'm pretty sure this is the evidence Flat Earthers have been asking for. The exact locations where these photos were taken and that building is listed below. If anybody would like to double check my math, I'm talking to you Jaren, please do so. I welcome all comments and corrections. Thanks BM. So not only did he confirm my observation a year ago, I did the same observation in the total opposite direction, getting pretty much the same amount of building obstructed. Which is further evidence that the surface we're looking over is curved. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video, and check out the rest of my videos if you're interested. And as always, peace. Also, I want to give a special shout out to Mr. Walter Bislin for further confirming my observation with his curve calculator. Destroy shit, pinpoint asteroids in orbit, then hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it. Towards it.